Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is graphing systems of linear inequalities. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com and this is uh, Integrated Math 1, so make sure you click that link. And if you guys can, uh, would you guys click like if you get a chance and if you don't like it, click don't like and leave a comment. I always like to hear from you. So, uh, Okay, so here are graph solutions will be all the points in the areas where the solutions of the inequalities overlap. So we're going to be shading. So Here's some examples. Solve the system of inequalities by graphing. Okay, so here we have uh, x plus y is greater than 3. So this one's going to be a dotted line because it's not greater than or equal to 3. This one's going to be a solid line because it's less than or equal to. So let's graph the lines first. We're going to go ahead and graph um, uh, x plus 3y equals 3, and it's a dotted line because there's no equals bar right there. Okay, now remember the x-intercept, if the y wasn't there, if that 3y wasn't there, we'd have x equals 3, okay? Looks like these uh, each square is going by 2, so 2, 4, 6, 8, and then uh, going up by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay? So 3 would be over here, here's 2, here's 3 right there. And then the y-intercept, pretend like the x isn't there, 3y equals 3, so y equals 1. So there's, there's that right there, and it's a dotted line right there because it's just greater than. All right, now since it's greater than, we're either going to shade this side or this side right here. Well, if you don't know what side to shade, just test a point. Zero, zero is a good one to test. If it's yes, then you shade the side that zero, zero is on. If it makes it no, then shade the other side. So plug in zero right there and zero right there. Is zero plus zero greater than three? That's a big fat no. So I'm not going to shade this side. I'm going to shade this side over here. But since it's greater than, your book is just going to say uh, shade above the line because it's greater than. So there it is, shaded above, okay, in blue. All right, let's do the red guy. This one's a solid line. Okay, so the x-intercept, negative x goes into 6, negative 6 times. So there it is right there at negative 6. And the y-intercept's at 6. Okay, how about 0, 0? Is 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 6? Yes. So since 0, 0 is yes, it's on this side, I'm going to shade that side. Okay, but since it's less than or equal to, your book just says uh, to shade below the line. Okay, so there it is below. All right. So our answer is the intersection of the blue and the red. So it's the purple. I don't know if you can see the purple part right there. I got it a little bit cleaner right there. There's our answer right there. The solution to the system of inequalities is the region uh, shaded by the overlapping portion. So all of these points in here are points that satisfies this uh, system of inequalities. All of these points out here wouldn't satisfy either one or both of them. Okay, so your book might ask you give a couple of ordered pairs that are solutions and give ordered pairs that aren't solutions. So for points that are, are solutions, you just pick any points that are in here. Okay, points that aren't solutions, pick any points out here. It doesn't matter which ones you pick. I chose these two points for ordered pairs that are solutions. I chose these two points that are not solutions right there. But there's infinitely many points you can pick. So, so it might ask you, um, you know, they might give you an ordered pair and they'll ask you, is it a solution? Well, it is if it lies in the, in the shaded region of the overlapping parts. All right, let's do it again with this one here. Okay, so uh, let's see, solid line, solid line. Okay, so the x-intercept, negative 6 goes into 12 two times, or negative 2 times, so it's going to be right there. And the y-intercept, 3 goes into 12 four times, so it's going to be right there. So let's go ahead and graph these guys. So there's that one right there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to do the testing one on this. So we'll test 0, 0. Okay, is 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 12? That's a big fat yes. So it's going to be on this side of this. Now I'm not going to shade it yes I just, uh, oh, yet. I'm just going to put an arrow on that side to remind me because it got kind of all messy with the last time we did that. So I just put an arrow on that side to remind me later. And then we'll go ahead and graph this blue line right here. So we'll go to the, the y-intercept at plus 3. So that would be like right there. And then we'll use the slope up 1 over 2. So if it's right there, I'm going to go up 1 over 2 and put another point right there. Okay. So there it is. Uh, there's the, the y-intercept right there, and there's up 1 over 2, solid line right there, and test 0, 0 again. So uh, 0 is less than 0 plus 3. 
so it's going to be on this side of the blue line it's going to be on this side of the red line so what I like to do is just keep doing arrows all the way up the red one and arrows all the way on the blue one so I can see where they're going to overlap and they're going to overlap in this region right here so the solution is going to be the overlapped region is that region right there okay so again give two ordered pairs that are solutions and two ordered pairs that aren't you just got to pick any pairs in there and any pairs out there for the noes and these are for the yeses right there okay it doesn't matter i picked those ordered pairs right there for the yeses and noes right there okay all right, so graph each system of linear inequalities and describe the solution. Okay, so here, y is less than a dotted line, less than 4x minus 3, and y is greater than 4x plus 2. Okay, well, let's go to the minus 3 right here. So if we go down to the minus 3 right here, would be right there. Okay, and then we'll go up 4 over 1. So there's up 2, there's up 4 over 1, and then let's go ahead and graph those, and then if we shade them right there, okay, um, so uh, there they are right there, oops, I did them in different colors right there, this one, these ones, this should be blue and this one should be red, I just did them backwards right there, so here's the 4x minus 3 in the red right here, and then the 4x plus 2 is right there in the blue, I just got these colors mixed up right there. Alright, so where do these overlap right here? Well they don't overlap right here, so since they don't overlap, uh, then the answer to this system of inequalities is no solution. It's the only time you're going to have no solutions is if you have parallel um, uh, lines and they go in opposite directions. That's the only time inequalities will have no solutions right here. How about if you get something like this? Okay, here these are going to be parallel lines again, but when we graph those, um, we're going to get... Uh, uh, the, the purple part is going to be the solution right there. Okay, so the blue part would have been blue this way, and the red part would have been starting here going this way, and so where they overlap is going to give us this purple region right there in the middle. So the solutions are all the points between the parallel lines, uh, and it also includes the solid line right there because it's less than or equal to. So this solid line is part of the purple part right here, although the dotted line is not supposed to be because it's just greater than right there. All right, if you guys are in my class, I would assign that. Take care.